What is going on guys? Patrick here back at you with another live thrifting video. Uh, today we're going to be going over last Friday and last Saturday. Uh, so this is starting out on Friday at my lunch break like I've been doing the last few weeks. I headed out to the local savers near me. Uh, spent about, I don't know, probably 30 minutes in the store. Just had a pretty good time. Uh, stay tuned. Let's see what we can find. So. As usual, right? I head over to where the video games are. They sometimes will have some PlayStation 3 games over here, maybe controllers. Like you never know what you're going to find over there. And then they usually put the like more modern type games up top on that shelf up there. I'm I'm also experimenting using a GoPro camera on my chest in the in the today's videos. Probably will be doing that going forward. Didn't find anything in the video games, so I headed back to the electronics. Last week I found that DVD VHS player which sold right away. Not really find, didn't really find anything this week there. Uh, headed over to the toys. You guys, if you guys watch any of this stuff, you know that I love going through the toys. This is so much fun to me. Uh, there's always interesting things to find, even if you don't end up buying anything. Like there's usually just something to pick up and look at. There was a, like a plastic toy gun scope up there, so I was taking a look at that. There's a Rosie O'Donnell doll, like. Where else are you going to find stuff like that? Like, I never would have thought there was a Rosie O'Donnell doll out there at all. There's an odd little mount there for a uh, Sirius radio. I figured I would take a look at it. It was brand new. If you guys haven't seen any of my videos in the past, you'll, you'll, the way I like to do this is I like to just put things in my cart and then I'll go at the end of my trip and just look everything up that I need to look up, check to see if there's anything of value. Uh, at this savers, right, there's all of the big shelves there in the back. And then over on this wall, they have all the little little bags filled with toys. And I've done pretty well in this section, uh, depending, you know, on the week, the day, the kind of thing. You just got to stick with it. You have to be willing to look in pretty much every bag. Oh, there's a uh, Ben 10 Omnitrix wristwatch. I gave a thumbs up and put it over there. Again, thank you for putting up with my uh, new camera here. Like, obviously, I'm not quite centered on the frame here where I should be, uh, but I'm working on that. It's uh, basically, I got a GoPro Hero 5 Black and a chest mount, so I can use both of my hands when looking things up. I thought that was important, so just wanted to go back to doing that. Um, but of course, like not everything is as framed as I'd like it to be. Lots of, in, lots of big bags full of stuff, which in my mind, usually a big bag full of stuff isn't as good as some of the smaller bags. I uh, can't really see what I'm looking at there. It looks like a dragon. Uh, the small bags a lot of times will have better stuff because they'll be like three or four really specific items. So in, for me, I like to look for when there's lots of a sp really specific thing in there. Uh, so put a couple things in my cart, headed up to the front where they have the cases. Um, there's like a Beatles book set there on top, which I wasn't sure what it was. Um, they weren't in order, so I was trying to figure out like what were they trying to, what was it trying to be? It was a Beatles solo, like, like book set. I had no idea what it was. Took a look down in the case. There's a neat Jim Shore Disney thing there on the left that was there last week. They're asking like forty dollars for it. That's way too much. So now I looked up that Beatles thing. <laughs> Not very good. Not very good. I headed over to the figurines. Like I don't usually find a lot over here, but occasionally something. I'm usually looking for Jim Shore or looking for Disney stuff. I headed around the corner and I saw this range extender, which I thought might be new in box. I thought maybe it was, uh, even if it was not new, it might be worth something. Opened it up, empty box. <laughs> Gotta love it. I handed it back to that lady there. So I headed back to the cookware and immediately I found a really nice one here, which I couldn't find any markings on it. It certainly looks like Nordic wear, but just there was nothing. And I think maybe I was going too fast and I didn't check under the tag there. I think maybe I should have picked that up. Um, if you what if you guys think I should have picked it up, comment down below, please. Let me know. Should I have bought that? I headed back to the mugs here next, looked at a couple of things. Um, I don't know. That looks like a local fraternity mug. I have no idea if that would do well. I'm constantly seeing Dunkin' Donuts mugs. I have no idea if those actually have any value or not. I probably should start looking into them since I see them so often, right? That's, in my mind, it's a pretty good piece of advice, even for myself. Like, 
if I'm seeing something a lot, I need to learn, is there a niche inside of that that I could learn? Um, so next I headed back to the electronics section over here. This is where they, they hang all the individual items in this store. And it's been pretty deserted for a couple of weeks now. The, the other savers that's near me has got a ton of stuff on their wall. Makes this one look kind of sad and pathetic. <laughs> I did find one little cord there just to just for like parts. So I threw that in the basket. And the next I headed over to next to this is, uh, I don't know, like not electronics. Usually maybe cameras, maybe some other things over here. But it's kind of like ephemera, I guess, is the best thing. It's just a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. And you can see I'm playing with the angle on my camera there to try and make sure that I can show you guys what I'm looking at. Um, oh, there's the cord I was thinking I grabbed back there. It, this that's one of those common cords. It's got the two rounded sides on it where it plugs into an electronic device. Lots and lots and lots of different things use that style cord. So if I can get it for cheap, I'll probably pick them up. I think it was a dollar fifty. Uh, and then up there, there's an interesting looking lens. Uh, this this was and you can't see it anymore. Oh, there. You, well done, Patrick. <laughs> that is for a uh, Codex light projector. So I think it was only a couple dollars. I put it in the cart. Uh, there was a whole bunch of these AC adapters here. Some of them can be worth money. Uh, if you're willing to look them up, they could be worth seven to maybe $15, which if it's $2 is not a bad flip, but you got to put the time in because it's not like one of those things where you can just buy it and, and hope for it later. You're going to end up having a pile of useless AC adapters. They're mostly for laptops. Um, so, you know, not if you get them for dirt cheap. I usually get them as like part of another lot. Um, and then, uh, you know, can just sell them that way. Uh, there was, there was a nice leather bottom Jansport back there, but it was one of the newer ones. So I left that one behind, headed back to the toys. And immediately I saw something that looked pretty cool. Is this uh, big ogre figure from Imagine X castle. I think, uh, it was $5, which I knew immediately <laughs> you can see my handshake wasn't like the best price um come back tomorrow see what i got see if i ended up buying him or not i'll have the the what did i buy video tomorrow so i decided to go and take a really hard look through the the board games here and i found a couple that are worth a little bit of money but there's a big reason i left them behind today there you go eight dollars each don't know if they're all there same thing with the 13 dead end drive Eight dollars. It's probably a twenty to thirty dollar game. That's just a lot into it for a used game. I, I just wasn't really interested in putting that much money into it. So oh, I'm actually looking up the comps right there. You can see that was one for sixteen dollars. So they just wanted way too much money. Using my last stop before I head out, go through the books. Right, I'm going to be looking for really anything that catches my eye. I like to buy uh, trade paperbacks from comic books. Right, collected stories, usually for my own use. I'll also take a look at the uh, the science fiction section to see if there's anything I'm looking for. I'm also going to be looking for Harry Potter hardcover books. And then anything like some really good old Stephen King books. The hard part with savers is they usually price it at a minimum at $3.99. So my profit margin gets just shrunk down really easily. Uh, I'm a big sci-fi and fantasy nut. So like I like to look over here at this section just for my own use. Um, if you guys are into sci-fi and fantasy, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what it is you like to read. Uh, I know that I think it's Nerdist is doing The Name of the Wind right now by Patrick Rothfuss as their book club one. So if you've read that, like I really loved that book. I got my wife into it. It's pretty cool. All right. So now it's Saturday morning. I talked to my wife into heading out early. And we went to a Goodwill that we don't go to very often. And so I headed right to the electronics section. The shelves actually have a fair number of things on them. You can see I'm trying to figure out how to make sure to keep it in frame, but but walk <laughs> with that new camera. Uh, you can also see there's not really a ton of interesting stuff. It's a lot of, I don't know, maybe normal stuff, right? Like nothing that I'm really looking for anyway. Happy hunting. Did they open? Made sure to leave my wife's voice in there saying happy hunting. Wasn't sure if they actually had opened the door. It was a few minutes early. Decided to just head in when when I saw a couple other people heading in. It's so funny. It's, we all swoop onto the savers like like we're vultures. Didn't spend much time at that uh, 
that other Goodwill. Whoop, missed the, missed the cart. <laughs> I'm way too excited. I get that fear of missing out. And I headed back here. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you've seen me pick up some pretty good stuff from the Savers, especially right away. New in box electronics, I was like, I don't know if that's going to be any good or not, but I'll put it in the cart for now. But you can also see just how kind of empty these shelves are. Right, there's just not a lot of stuff on them. Um, there's a couple of DVD players. I thought maybe that phone was going to be brand new. I might check it out if it was. But there is a Microsoft ergonomic keyboard sitting there, which I actually use one of these in my everyday life. Um, I I figured out about 20 years ago that I can type longer and faster on one of those than I can on a regular keyboard. So I was like, I'm going to just put this in the cart. I don't know if it's going to be for me or if it's going to be for reselling. Uh, but definitely, like, even if I put it away for my own use, might be a really good thing to pick up. Headed, headed to the other side of the store to take a look at the toys. And you can see there's actually a lot of bags up there today. There was there was a ton of stuff to look through. And I took my time here, right? I went through all of it, just trying to see, is there anything worth picking up? And uh, it was very similar to the one from the day before, where it was like lots of bags of lots of stuff, but nothing that was really catching my eye. Uh, right, there's, there's just some really strange stuff. Oh, something caught my eye here. I don't know, I like little toys. Like I sell bundles of little toys occasionally when I can get them. So that to me looked interesting. I wasn't really sure what it was. I was like, that's gonna go in the cart. I can look it up later. Um, there's lots of princess stuff on here. <laughs> All sorts of interesting stuff. And right, I'm looking for, on a good day, right? I'm looking for old 80s toys, G.I. Joe's, He-Man, um, on a bad day, I'm looking for How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, those have been doing pretty well. I found a few of them lately. Um, I'm also going to be looking for um, lots of toys, right? Where it's there's a whole bunch of one toy on here. Uh, whether it's a whole bunch of Power Rangers or Squinkies, um, stuff like that. Maybe even on a on if there's enough of them, some Shopkins, right? I might buy a huge bag full of Shopkins if they're like that. Uh, right, so some of those can do really well. Littlest Pet Shop, right? I sell lots of those all the time. Sometimes even individuals can be worth some money. You can see there was just a bunch of bags of Legos up there. It's pretty interesting. That one had some military figures in it, so I was more interested than I, I thought I was going to be. So I realized that I had spent a ton of time looking through all these toys. So I sped it up a little bit to try and <laughs> show what I'm looking at, but also like move on. That one looked interesting. It had the colors of like old 80s Transformers, Dinobots. So I was like, I was pretty interested at first, but I didn't see anything in there that I recognized. So just moved on. You can see there's a lot of rescue heroes again. I feel, I feel like I've seen a ton of those figures lately. Then there's uh, some, nin, not Ninjago. Look at this guy. That guy is from How to Train Your Dragon into the cart he went. Always looking for those. I found one recently that went that I sold for like forty dollars. So now I'm really interested in how to train your dragon. <laughs> Man, there really are just a ton of rescue heroes there. Got a couple things in my hands there. What do I got? Oh, I see. There's a uh, Imaginex Star Wars speeder bike there, which I think is pretty cool. But I also know that it's not really worth anything. I wanted to see if there was going to be maybe a whole bunch of the Imaginex figures in there because then it may be a lot more interesting versus if it's just the one vehicle there there's almost no value there oh i love the planes you can see that the, the planes characters there those are super fun not a ton of value i usually sell them between like seven and twelve dollars so moving on from the bag toys we're going to head over to the bigger toys section here this is a mixed bag area let me tell you like you just never know what you're going to find over here there's usually a ton of Nerf guns and a ton of trucks, which you can see that's basically what we're seeing here today. Lots of things with wheels. And honestly, that's not my strong suit. There may be some really good toys in there that I'm leaving behind. But this guy here, he caught my eye. Mo, that's from Moana. It's Maui. It's an electronic Maui. And he's like at least a foot tall. He just looked really cool. And I was like, he might have some value. He's going to go in the cart. And then I saw a bunch of dinosaurs here. Always looking for 
Jurassic Park branded dinosaurs. A few of them have done really well for me. So this is something I like to keep my eye out for. And I spent a little bit of time looking through the board games here. Uh, there's a couple interesting ones, but nothing really caught my eye today. I'll probably take another look back here again before I leave the store, though. I, I think one of the recent times here, I actually found things looking on video with you guys, uh, stuff that I didn't see while I was there live. So let's see if I do that today. There's there's definitely like a Tomb Raider game there. Those trains have been there for at least a week. And then there's a whole bunch of Lego minifigs there that have been there for a couple weeks, too. There's an interesting statue down there, but it is uh, a bit on the pricey side. I think they wanted like $75 for it, which is ridiculous from a thrift store, right? I know that they're trying to make money, but come on, guys, right? A uh, bunch of jackets and stuff up there. I didn't see anything that was super interesting. So let's see. Watching with you guys, they love to make those vases full of full of watches and stuff. I headed back over to the video games, which I had taken a quick look at as on my way in. Didn't really see anything that like caught my eye. Like I'm, I'm gonna look and see if there's like any GameCube stuff or see if there's any PlayStation One games. I found a couple PlayStation Two games that that I couldn't remember if they were they were good or not. So I was like, well, I'll put these in the cart for now. That one was uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which I think has some value on the Xbox, but not a ton of value on the PlayStation 2. Uh, and then there was one more over here that I think I grabbed. Let's see if it was over here. There it is, N NBA Street, which again, a couple of these street titles are going to have some value, but that the one for the PlayStation 2 is not one of them. <laughs> I think maybe San Andreas may have had value, but uh, it was resurfaced, which is a bit of like jargon, right? What they've done is they've, they were scratched and they tried to buff out the scratches and that can work, but uh, it also can destroy the disc. So I'm looking over here now at the electronics and I see this thing it looks like an MP3 player, which is one of the things I'm always looking for. And my eye said, oh, there it is, MP3. I'm going to put this in the cart and look it up, see if it has anything. I've also sped this section up just because I don't know if you guys really want me to be talking and showing you all this stuff. That looks like a uh, MP3 or iPod. As you can see from the bottom there, the ports on it are not iPod, right? Their iPods are always going to have very specific connections, and that's going to be a dead giveaway that that's just a fake one. Uh, but Right, if you compare this saver versus the one I was in on Friday, look how much more stuff there is in this electronic section. Now, true, there's not a lot that I'm really interested in buying, but maybe to another reseller, they might find something in here that, that I don't know what it is. Uh, apparently, I found here a, a PlayStation 3 controller, which this is one of those things that I'm always looking for. And you can see what I'm doing. I'm testing those sticks. Those are the things that tend to break on them. Yeah, $5.99 is an okay price for that. They're worth about $18. Uh, so, you know, $5, $6 isn't the best price on it, but not not a bad pickup. Over here, there's a uh, Xbox 360 Connect device, but they want $13 for it. Hell no. Put that back, Patrick. Come on, put it back. Good job. <laughs> I headed back to the mugs. I'm going to be looking for Death Wish coffee. I'm going to be looking for... Starbucks, and I think this is another area that I need to up my game a little bit because there are just so many mugs. There's got to be some more that I could buy. I did see a glass here that looked interesting. It's Flash and Batman. Uh, I did look this up before I left the store, and uh, it had some value. Uh, come back tomorrow, see if I ended up buying it or not. I headed down. Oh, there's more mugs to look at. Right, there's just so many mugs. There's got to be some that are worth more than uh, just looking for Starbucks all the time. Because even the Starbucks mugs don't bring a ton of value. And the prices on these mugs are usually a dollar to two dollars. So if I can find just a couple more to expand my knowledge on, I definitely am going to try and do that here. I mean, especially since I've been taking you guys on this journey with me of doing all these recordings and stuff. All right, around the corner, what are we looking for here? We're looking for Nordic wear. And I think I'm about to find a piece. Look, you can just tell immediately that it's a little bit different than the Wilson, right? It just has that, that little bit thicker quality to it. 
Right now I'm looking to see, is it Nordicware? And I had a hard time, but I finally, up oh, there it is. It says Nordicware. I was, I think that's why the one that I left on Friday, I didn't find, I didn't buy it because I couldn't find the tag, but I think I just didn't look hard enough on it. I think I was too nervous, right? It was my lunch break. I wanted to make sure I got back to, to work on time. And I just was like in too much of a hurry. So I don't think I spent enough time. I probably should have bought it. Again, let me know down in the comments if I should have bought it or not. You can see just how much bakeware there is here. Most of it I'm, I'm not even taking a look at. The Nordicware has been the, the big niche for me. And probably there's some other niches. I've heard from one of the other guys in the area that he likes to buy uh, the Wilson stuff. And then he sends that into Amazon. So I'm going to take a look here at all the little kitchen devices, right? There's a bunch of toaster ovens. Occasionally you'll find uh, some of the... The, the grills over here, like the George Foreman and stuff. That, the Shrinky Dinks thing looked pretty interesting. Um, it was worth, looks like, 15 to $20, maybe 20 to 20 to $30, something like that. So I was interested in it at this point, right? It's not a bad price. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, $5, not, not bad. I didn't even put it in my cart. I'm going to take a quick look here at the books, right? I'm looking for, again, looking for Harry Potters mostly. Anything else that catches my eye. Oh, one of my favorite books. It has some problems, but for whatever reason, I, I grew up in the 80s, so it really, it really like, I really like it. All right, shout out to my, uh, to my buddy Peter. He loves Deadpool, so I did pick that up for him. Peter, be looking for that in the mail. Should be showing up in a day or two. Again, I'm standing here in the sci-fi fantasy section. I'm mostly just looking for myself. There's some really interesting stuff here. You can see there's a Charlene Harris book there on the left. Those can sell in a big lot of them. Like if you get probably between six and 10, you're doing pretty good. I would not advise picking them up at Savers. They're probably going to be asking $3.99 a piece. At that price, you're going to be priced out of the profit. Probably it's going to be worth $2 each if you get, a, if you get them into a bundle. So if you, there's a whole bunch of those Sookie Stackhouse books. Wait, what is that? Didn't we go through the electronics earlier? How is this sitting here? And it's got its remote? Oh, man. That is a nice thing to find on your second lap around the store. Since it was my second lap, I wasn't too worried about um, missing things anymore, right? The, the FOMO is starting to go away. Uh, it was, this thing was $15, so I made sure to spend a little bit of time with it to see if it powered on. I wanted to test the, the DVD, um, the drawer, right? That's one of the things that's going to fail most often on these things is that door. It's just not going to open. Um, and then the other thing that tends to fail is the VHS, right? More often than the DVD side, the VHS will just fail unexpectedly. So you'll probably see me look over my shoulder at the media section to see if there's any uh, VHS tapes that I can just quickly grab. There I am, I'm looking over at the, where they have the DVDs over there. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. But right, I just wanna see, will the tape go in? That's usually the biggest indicator is if it's gonna work, is if the tape will actually go in or not. I even saw me look inside to see if there's already a tape inside, which there is sometimes. Um, $15 is steep, right, you guys? Like, that is a lot of money. Um, so I, I figured I'm going to put this in the cart. I'll probably look it up just in case. Uh, but I think you guys know that this is coming home with me, <laughs> especially with the remote. Oh, look at that. I gave her a pat. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick look at the bags here, right? I'm going to look for a few of the names that I know or anything that looks like it's a pretty nice bag. But generally, I found at the savers and the Goodwills around the area here, there's not a ton of good stuff. Um, I will buy... A bag occasionally. I've seen some of the other cities, like people posting what they find at their their thrift stores and finding these amazing bags that are just worth tons and tons of money, and that's just not the case. All right, you saw me pick up these eggs earlier, and I found another bag of them, and I was like, if they have little toys in them, they might be really interesting. And what I found is it said that there's candy inside. <laughs> so back on the shelf they went. I don't think anybody's going to be wanting to buy Easter candy from me. Uh, that's that's a little bit out of date, probably. Right, Easter's coming up, so there's going to be new stuff. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that. I left in the uh, a little bit of audio there. 
Right. I, I would love to be able to, to just include the audio of me talking as I'm walking around the store. But for the most part, the music in these places is super loud. And I'm really not interested in having uh, YouTube take my videos down. So I've been just doing these voiceovers instead. Um, we'll see. Maybe once we get into garage sale, tag sale season, then I'll be able to do that. But uh, for now, I'm going to continue doing the voiceover. But I will occasionally put in a little bit of a clip from, uh, from this live there. All right, second Goodwill of the day on Saturday. Uh, this one I have had some amazing luck in occasionally. But for the last few weeks, it has just been slim pickings. And I mean, that's just kind of the time of year it is, right? Like you, whatever you can find, you've got to just be like, okay with it. So very similar. I've sped up my video a little bit here. I'll take a quick look. Even the bag shelves are just completely empty. I headed over to the toys. I, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I wanted to see what the Star Wars thing was. But it was just some little crafting stuff. Took a quick look in the case. Let me know down in the comments if you see anything in there that, that I should have taken a harder look at. I didn't see anything that looked too interesting. So let's hit the road. All right, last Goodwill of the day. This one is uh, really close to where I used to live a few years ago. And so what I've known, though, is that it's got a ton of stuff in it usually, but it's hit or miss on if the stuff's going to be any good or not. So, of course, heading to the electronics immediately, start digging through the stuff. I'm, I'm really hopeful that I'm going to find a DVD VHS player or just a regular VCR just on the shelf. I have found them here a ton of times, uh, but it's been a while. So I'm, I feel like I'm due. Uh, you can see there's a ton of stuff. What is that bark bath? We may have to look that up during this video here, you guys, because I did not see that originally. And I don't know if it has any value or not. So let's pause there and I'm going to look it up. So I was right. I should have bought it. It looks like it can sell anywhere from $30 to $50, depending on what attachments are in there. And so I have no idea what that price was on there. Maybe it was pretty high, but that was pretty good. You, you guys caught me slipping. Oh, there's an enameled, um, what is that? Cast iron over here. Um, which these are really nice. I have sold a bunch of these. Um, so I did, I took a quick peek at this one. They wanted, I think $10 for it. And that's a little bit of money. So like I made sure to look this thing up to see if I should buy it or not. Come back tomorrow, see if I picked it up. I headed next over to the toy section here. And I noticed that there was that Top Gun game there. So I looked that up. There ended up being like four of them. Um, unfortunately they wanted like $10 for it. So, and that's about what it's worth. So I wish it was worth something. Not so much. You saw me touching, looked like a toy story plug and play. And you can see like in my mind, I'm like, maybe I should have looked this thing up. Maybe I should have got this. So I open. I was like, if it's brand new, especially it could maybe bring some money. So I popped it open and it sure looks like it's brand new to me when I'm looking in here right now. I'm like, all the cords are right in the right spot. Some of the glasses are are still wrapped up in their plastic. I looked it up and into the cart it went. So what's really funny is I remember seeing that Family Feud game there a couple weeks ago and thinking, wow, that I should have uh, I should have looked that up. And here it is a few weeks later and it's still there. Um, so next I headed up to the case where they all, they put all the video games now. And you can see they actually have a lot of them, but I think they probably want like $5 each on them. And there's just a bunch of really common titles with not a lot of value. So I made sure to spend a little bit of time looking through it all, but uh, did not find anything worth picking up today. Around the corner here, this is the case they keep locked now. And what I've seen in this Goodwill is that their prices are terrible for that case. They almost never find anything in the case that's worth having them open it up for. So we're getting pretty close to the end now. You can see I took a quick spin through all of the hard goods over here, right? I'm going to look at all the mugs. I'm going to look at all of the the not the, the household type goods. Like I am always interested in seeing what they have. I found some interesting things over time. 
But that's going to be about it for today, you guys. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more of this, please subscribe. This gentleman here at the end talked to me for a few minutes, and I think he is a subscriber. So thank you for subscribing, and thank you very much, you guys.